So this is from a client of ours, right? That I believe is about halfway through their training program right now. Okay. They said, thank you for making these videos and putting this content online. We are a three pity household. A year ago, we experienced a bad fight at our house when two of our dogs ganged up on our newest dog. The hospital and our vet both told us the only path we could take would be to medicate all of our dogs and take them to the only board certified behavioral facility, which was a purely positive facility. Let me clarify. The only board certified behavioral facility, meaning what all these people are talking about, if this is the top of the food chain, as far as if you are having serious problems with your dog, this is the absolute best person you can go to per the 17,000 scientific research studies that they've done mm. and all of the vet board, this and that. This is the person they are talking about. This yep. is not somebody pretending to be the person they talk about. This is, is the fucking person. Yep. All right. So I just want to make sure that is so clear because this is such an important part of this conversation, mm. right? It was an absolute joke experience. Seriously, we still joke about it. And after six months of Zoom meetings, concluding with a visit to their facility to reintroduce our dogs, in parentheses, that never happened because when we got there, they tried to put us in an exam room size space with a baby gate and a shower curtain. We left feeling defeated and hopeless. We thought we were going to have to get rid of a dog, which just seemed heartbreaking. This purely positive approach, while perhaps it would have worked over a decade period of time, I'm not sure, was not helping our situation. Learning through Miracle Canine, thank you, Bridget, they said, this is one of Bridget's clients, Let's go. a balanced approach to training through effective use of tools, <clears throat> e-collar, slip leash, crates, and beds, as well as treats and praise, has completely changed our household to a positive, respectful, structured place in a very short period of time. Bottom line, we have quickly learned how to communicate with our dogs and quickly change behavior so we all can get along. It has been a miracle, really has. <laughs> Keep up the great work, not only training, but making these videos and putting this content online. You all are really making a difference. I mean, <laughs> hey. I just like I just don't know how much more. And this is where I, you know, like I said, I, I try to be the reasonable. Like let's let's like look at all perspectives and stuff like yeah. that. I did that already. You could watch those videos. This is where I get to get <laughs> a little fucking wild. Right? <laughs> all right. I don't know what else there is to fucking say about some of this stuff. Six There's months. That. They gave yeah. this person six months. Six months of time, mm -hmm. right? In in six months, they still couldn't even reintroduce these dogs back together with each other, <laughs> right? Their behavior was still a mess. They were all on medication. Like, <sighs> yeah. So, and, and this is the person, right? There's nobody else that's better than this person that you can go to. So you're ta so so th this person is halfway through a program, which is five weeks, guys. Yeah. In just over one month. <laughs> is it perfect? No. But again, I've said this a gazillion times. We are not chasing perfection, right? No. I am not chasing every dog with absolutely zero problem issue, 100% totally thrilled and happy to be coexisting with the other dogs in the house and this and that. I am chasing this owner has control over their house again. Yeah. The emotional well-being of the human being. Exactly. Right, And these dogs are 10 times more well-behaved, which means that any stress that they were feeling from all of the franticness and hecticness of the household and that responsibility, excuse me, for them to control everything going on in the house on the dog's end mm -hmm. is no longer there, right? Yep. Are they a little stressed still? Maybe. Do I give a shit? No. Because guess what? <laughs> Serious fights. Owner was injured in the fight that happened. Dogs mm -hmm. had like $7,000 in vet bills that they had from that. Whew. <laughs> and yeah. and they have peace now. They have peace. Mm -hmm. And we're not a fucking board certified veterinarian behaviorist, the only one in the fucking city. This I like I just don't know what else there is to say about it. I not don't much. know how any trainer out there that is against what we do can look at that and be like you're still wrong. Yeah. And this is not me even saying like fuck this other person, right? Or 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 I care if you try to like if you're happy with the results you're getting going to one of those places, 
Merry Christmas. I'm happy for you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, go for it. You are so welcome to do whatever it is that you want to do, right? But mm-hmm. this person tried it for six months, and knowing this client, they are a very, very dedicated, willing participant. They do what they're told to do. Yeah. Like, like they're wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful, committed dog owners. Yeah. And six months, I'm not saying it couldn't work down the road, like he said, but in six months, they didn't get anywhere. They got nowhere imagine, in dude. six months. And in five weeks. Yeah. You got them all back in the same room. I don't know, man. 